The christening of the chicken made by Mr. Carl Stewart, especially for Mr. George C. Fisk, Springfield, Massachusetts. Well, sir, Mr. Fisk, you should have been with me the other evening down to my friend Goldstein's house. Well, well, what a nice time we were having, Mr. Fisk, you see. It was the engagement festival of Goldstein's daughter Rachel to Silverman son Joseph. Well, well, what a lot of gold and silver will be in the family, Mr. Fisk, when Rachel and Joseph get married. Well, sir, we were having a nice time. There was everything what she should want to eat, everything what she should want to drink. Time to drinking, cigars to smoking, ice cream to fresher. We were singing, dancing, telling stories, and somebody said, Billy Goldstein, tell us a story. Well, now, Billy, he's the best storyteller I ever heard in my life, only... Billy, he's a little bashful in his heart to get him started, don't you know? But Billy said, ladies and gentlemen, I will tell you a story about a friend of mine named Louis Kowinska. Louis was living in an Irish neighborhood doing a bad business because he was the only Hebrew in the whole neighborhood. So he thought of a good way to do a good business was to get married to an Irish girl. Take the Irish girl's name and put it in front of his store and make the whole neighborhood think he was Irish. Well, sir, he went and asked an Irish girl, should she marry him? She told him she should marry him, provided he become a Christian. And Louis went down to the minister of the church, and he told the minister he wanted to become a Christian. His business depended on it. The minister took some water, and he put it on his head, and he said, Kowinska, Kowinska, now you are a Christian, and your name is McGinty. And Louis went home and married the Irish girl. The first week they were married, Mr. Fisk, along come Friday, and Louis got a nice chicken for dinner. His wife says, Louis, we can't have chicken for dinner. This is Friday. He says, excuse me, my dear, that's not a chicken, that's a fish. He says, well, Louis, that's a chicken. Look at the legs, what it's got on it. He says, oh, my dear, if it had a hundred thousand legs on it, I told you that's a fish. He says, well, Louis, how do you make it out of fish? He says, oh, my dear. Nothing impossible with a smart Hebrew businessman. I made it a feast the same way what they made me a Christian, don't you know? I took some water and I put it on his head and I said, Chicken, chicken, now you're a feast, you son of a gun, now you're a feast.